welcome to Crush Chasm, the podcast dedicated to the highs and lows of crushes from their first to the worst. We're going to cover them all with a cascade of characters, including all well, me this week, because this week we're continuing our mini series talking about crushes that give back. And this one's about LLS, aka the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The organization that not only helped my guy after he was diagnosed with cancer in 2017, but millions of others in similar situations at all stages of their diagnoses. So LLS started way back in 1949 and today is a worldwide health organization that helps those diagnosed with a variety of blood cancers that fall under the leukemia and lymphoma umbrella. Didn't know there were that many varieties? Well, neither did I. Honestly, unless you're planning on going into the medical field, you likely never look that deep into cancer in the various forms until, well, it enters your life like it did ours. We all know breast cancer and things like lung cancer, even skin cancer, thanks to Hugh Jack, what's his name? Hugh Jackman? Wolverine? Yeah, that guy. Those are like the popular kids in high school, commonly heard types. Blood though? I guess I'd heard the term leukemia here and there growing up, but honestly, I never thought more than a few seconds about it. That is until January 2017, when a trip to the ER turned into a whirlwind event. I posted a bit about it over on CrushGasmPodcast.com, but let's do a long story short right now. So around the start of 2017, me and my guy had just settled into a new life in the South Bay in Southern California, and we're excited to finally be living together. Then my guy started to have this intense back pain, something he chalked up to like a gym injury. So for two weeks, that's what we treated it as. Medicine, heating pads, sitting in the gym hot tub. After a couple trips to some urgent cares and no real answers, I finally convinced him to go to the local ER. Two blood tests were done and another thing, I think it was like an MRI. The doctor sat us down and told us and instantly, it's like in the movies, everything went in slow motion. I don't handle insane news well. I didn't cry though. Not then. Uh, After the doctor left, we called our parents and mine immediately drove up to help us out because we didn't have a car at the time and they were just a couple hours away. Because of insurance, the next 48 hours were the worst part of the entire ordeal, which I won't get on my soapbox about the American healthcare system, but if you live in America, you know, it's pretty much crap. But I cried on the quick bus trip back home to pack some bags and a random woman gave me a tissue. And that's what I remember that day. So yes, again, so I went home, I packed what I could uh, because I didn't know whether my dude would ever come home because of his blood work. uh, We were pretty sure that if he had waited any longer, he definitely would have died. However, once he started getting treatment, the pain and the stress subsided and it was sort of boring after that, which is great. His doctors continuously call him the most boring patient and that's what you want to be. But back to LLS. Oh, and by the way, he's totally fine now. I know, I left you on the edge of your seat. But again, back to LLS. This isn't something we'd heard of, but thanks to the social worker at UCLA, Jose, shout out, we got well acquainted with what they had to offer. A travel card being the most important at that time. Being in LA without a car, we depended on Ubers at the time and that travel card went a long way. And for those wondering, it's something that patients can apply for once or maybe twice a year. And there is so much more they offer, but when it comes to helping out financially, LLS has a lot there. They also have educational material for both the patients and their loved ones who are also known as caregivers. Yeah, as soon as you agree to be the one helping out during treatment and beyond, that is your role and title, caregiver. They also keep people up to date on the latest innovations in treatment. So my guy has been in remission since the fall of 2017, but I will forever remain on the LLS mailing list and in the know because you just never know when you're going to need it and I can never turn my back on someone or something that has been there throughout my life. Oh, and they're not related, but another great organization that helps with blood cancer patients that I want to shout out real quick is Be The Match. When you have something like leukemia and need a stem cell transplant, they're the best when it comes to finding matches because as wild as it sounds, your family isn't always going to be 100% of a match. I know that's weird. His sister was like 50 or 75%. His parents were like a quarter. But my guy's match was a woman named Gaylene all the way around the world in Australia. Not No relation, didn't know her, but because she signed up with Be The Match and was in the system, they were able to connect the two and her stem cells saved his life. 
So I encourage everyone to get into the Be The Match system so that one day you may be the lifeline to someone in need for a second chance. It's And it's really, really easy to do. You kind of just like sign up on the website. They send you a little swab, swab your mouse and the sample back. You're in the system. And that's it. You may never get contacted. I've been in there since 2017. Or you may, you know, end up like Gaylene and get that call and be able to give someone another chance at life. So it's a great thing to be a part of. Nevertheless, you know, just, just do that. So anyway, you can find more information about Be The Match and LLS below. And if you can, please sign up for Be The Match and or donate to LLS so they can continue to provide for those in need. With that, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me talk about a crush that gives back. And until next time, as always, keep crushing it. Crushgasm is part of the I Did Not Make These Rankings podcast network alongside some other pretty cool shows, including An Evening at the Movies, Crime, Rewind, Literature Reapers, Love is Black, Masturbators, Men are the Prize, and The Sipless. You can find all of us and more over at IDNMTRpodcastnetwork.com.